This is a day we've been dreaming of since we arrived here. It is going to change everything. Summer's back and we're not gonna waste a second of it. Two years ago, we purchased this abandoned cabin. When we pulled up, we were a little overwhelmed. Oh my gosh. This is insane. What did we just do? Since then, we have been working hard, transforming it to the homestead of our dreams. And the past few weeks have been a bit of a struggle with unpredictable weather, injuries, breakdowns and failing projects. Same sound this morning, it's not fixed. This next job is no joke. This cabin is getting new siding. It is beyond time. This will not make it through another season. It is crumbling, it is dried out. There is nothing waterproof about it. This is a day we've been dreaming of since we arrived here. It is going to change everything. Go ahead, Jazz. See you later, my little friend. <laughs> okay, all of this was rotting. Just removed it here. And that's because there was no flashing. I don't know why they stopped here. Ran out. And they probably ran out of the roll. <laughs> we can't call this siding. This is not siding. Crystal thinks it's called siding because they painted it. It that is, is a the laughing siding. joke. This was a hunt camp. They didn't give a shit. We're bringing it to life. You Try. tell them, girl. <laughs> yeah. Owners, previous owners. A hunt camp is exactly as the name says it is. It is a camp or a very simple cabin where people will come and hang out, go hunting, you know, share a few meals, but overall not spend a ton of time here. It's more of like one of those places that are way back in the woods. Turns out we landed here and- Two stupid vegans in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, here we are. Now we're on the siding. We should have done the siding years ago. And that's because we were too busy laying a metal roof, building a driveway, trenching electrical lines all around our land to get us power and trenching water lines to get us water. The essentials, you know? Now, it's the summer of transformations, baby. All right, everyone, this is flashing. We used it on our deck build. What is flashing? Flashing is something people always miss and it's actually one of the most important things or your house rots. So you should all put flashing on. It mitigates the water away from your structure preventing rot. You're a Google definition, that's for sure. Well, here we go again. We need some metal cutters. Where are they, girl? This is gonna happen a lot. Like I said, big, big job. This is no joke. Okay, see you in a minute. <laughs> Now for the hardest part when you work with metal. Origami. How about your origamis? I never did that. I was outside. <laughs> Whoa, you must have been doing origami, girl. You were the captain of the team with that fold. Get out. You're that. peeing your pants in the sandbox. Oh, exposed. <laughs> it's blue skin adhesive primer time. <laughs> it's painting time. We are painting on this blue skin adhesive. We have a massive 17 gallon jug that will cover the whole house. It I just it. helps the blue skin product, which is the waterproof membrane, adhere to the substrate, which is this siding. So it's kind of like the glue. You don't need it, but it really, really does help. And like I said, with the age of the siding here, I think it's- Go big or go home. I think it's necessary. Yeah. Okay, so you want to open it up? Yeah, apparently it's very toxic, so um... Glasses on, PPE. Pretty. Nice eyebrows. How bad does it stink? It's not open yet. Oh. But it stinks because you're here. Oh, Oh my goodness, not too much, eh? We have a whole house to do, Chris. No, this is my brush, don't even talk about it. See, I told you, yours is too big to handle. Yeah, look, it smells like a swimming pool. You smell like a swimming pool. We're moving into a Smurf house. It's okay if you get the top, the fascia's being redone. You already need more? 
And just as everyone would have predicted, Jasmine's frustrations with painting make an appearance. Rather suspicious, I'd say. Pretty spotty there. You're looking like a leopard. I hate painting. I'm not painting. Painting I of... literally hate this. I oh don't my. like painting. I'm not good. I don't like it. Okay, trade me then. How you get out of something you don't want to do? Be really bad at it. Uh, Jazz, are you serious right now? You pulled this to get out of it, and I see this when I'm doing a voiceover. I'm about to open up a can of book. Sonia, have you heard about the fun game Love and Pies? Thank you to Love and Pies for sponsoring this week's video. A quick break to tell you about the free to play mobile game that you can play on mobile phone or tablet. Oh, and hello from me from the future. I'm very invested in the story. The game revolves around the fascinating story of taking over your mom's burned down cafe and aiming to build a thriving business. It honestly kind of reminds me of cabin life in a game because I escape and I'm also building virtually. That's not all. There's also a mystery unraveling surrounding your mom's disappearance, the chaos of small town gossip, and an unexpected romance. Bringing the cafe back to life is so satisfying from giving it new paint building new chairs, building a new deck. The content is fresh every week to keep it exciting and the visuals are stunning. If you're like me and you like decorating and building your own little cafe, download Love and Pies using the link in the description. It's available on iOS and Android. Okay, Crystal wins. Wow, look at that background. Painter of the year again. And now that the whole side is painted, you need to overlap your blue skin six inches at the corner so there's no leaks, like right here. So she's going to just do a nice little roll of the paintbrush right there. That way we can wrap the blue skin nicely and have zero leaks. Just sticks. <laughs> I know, eh? She's sweating with me. Yeah, you're sweating here. Okay, I'm gonna go. Show them this, like how sticky it is. I can't. Look at the rocks. The rocks stuck. Look at this, everyone. That, this ain't just pain. This is a workout. Leftovers. Steak and potatoes. Steak and potatoes. That's so cute. Do some lunch time. Cuddles. Cuddles. A half an hour has gone by. Our adhesive is now dry as it's quick setting, which is ideal in this situation because realistically, after you put the adhesive on, you really do want to put that waterproof membrane on <clears throat> quite quickly, especially if there's a change in weather or anything like that. They do recommend doing it within the same workday. So let's do it. Feels like the summer. Oh, it feels like the summer to me. <laughs> it feels like the summer. Summer and it's where I wanna be. Yeah, it's very blue. The cabin's gonna be very, very blue. <laughs> a reminder. Look how blue that is. Holy smokes. And lives up to its name. Before we can go any further and wrap the house in blue skin, we have two wires coming out. One is if our off-grid system ever goes out, we can hook up a generator and it can power our entire house. The second one is going to be for a heat pump. So they're little baby wires coming out of the cabin, but it's important to make sure they are also waterproof. And we're gonna make some flowers. You'll understand soon. Feels like the summer. Oh, it feels like the summer to me. So much about this project reminds me of Cabin Season 1. <laughs> do you feel the same? Yeah, I was just thinking, are Jazz and Crystal being naive thinking they can do this? <laughs> just reminds me of like the roof or like the driveway, like those really transformational things that are so important and so aesthetic at the same time. Like it's just going to change so much and we haven't had one of these like change so much. That we've done. That we have done, completely start to finish ourselves. Just the two of us with you guys in a little while and I'm really excited. I'm so excited. Yay! It's been such a long time coming. I don't think I've been this excited for a project in a long time. I'm like re-inspired. Like I don't want to stop working tonight. I'm gonna want to wake up tomorrow and do it all over again. Yeah, I am your mom's coming. so pumped up. It's raining. No, it's not. 
There's not a cloud in the sky. What are you talking about? Well, then I spit on myself. <laughs> a love letter on our house forever. Okay, the first couple pieces on and we have a routine, a rhythm, whatever you want to call it. It's going smooth. It's not a sticky situation anymore. Get it? Because it's sticky. Okay, so the blue skin, in order to make it easier, what we do is level it first. The person on the right puts a nail in the top right corner. That way it will 100% stay square and we don't have any human error. You might be thinking, while well, you're putting nails in your membrane, it's not gonna be waterproof. This is one of the reasons why we went with the blue skin is because nails self seal themselves with the adhesive glue on the back of the glue skin. Glue skin, blue skin. It's pretty interesting. We actually did a lot of research on how we wanted to waterproof our house. There's so many different options. It is a little bit more expensive than going with Tyvex or whatnot. It's super important that you not only have a waterproof membrane, but something that can also let out moisture so it doesn't trap it on the inside, making your walls rot. I'm very happy with it. Also, it's a joy to work with now that we have our rhythm. What would you say, joy? Joy. It feels like the summer to me. Oh, it feels like the summer. Oh, it feels like the summer. It feels like the summer to me. What's the verdict, Captain? The verdict is there's one million mosquitoes. <laughs> it's nine o'clock. And we've had, a, we've had a solid day. I feel really confident in the product. I feel really confident putting it on. I feel really good about it. I'm ready to go tomorrow, but we're gonna go to bed. I mean, we tried to go to bed, but we didn't sleep an ounce. We woke up at 5 a.m. to make it to an appointment in the city. Our morning drive was beautiful. And so is this new tire for our truck. Yeah, we blew the other one. Ah, uh, back to work. It's 3 p.m. Crystal didn't sleep and we might be a little bit delirious. Get popped up, please. Get popped up. <laughs> How long do you think this coffee high is going to last? Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Here goes nothing, Muffin. Today, we are doing the window openings and then we can finish this entire first wall. And I'm absolutely stoked to get there. And in five hours, I will be sleeping. Super excited to get there too. <laughs> oh, I'm doing the windows? Like, I'm already doing a terrible job. I think the strongest person should hold the ladder. Hardy, hard, hard, hard. Hard. You just don't want to do anything today. Oh my god, that sucked you. I'm not doing this. I'm actually not doing this. Why are we switching up jobs right now? Like, because you're horrible at watching the ladder. Hold the ladder. I am! Because you've been doing it the whole time. You have a rhythm. Oh, I could be doing so many other things. You need to learn how to be able to focus on me right now. <laughs> focus on you three hey, six, five days of the year. Give me a day off. Baby, I'm all in. Measure it first. I'm measure it. I haven't even. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I told you. Let's measure it. You said I want to eyeball it. This is what happens when you want to eyeball it. As we are working, we can't help but notice a storm is rolling in. Not like this broken eavesdrop is going to do anything, but we are hoping it holds off. You hear those thunder clouds? Whoa! What? I almost fell off my ladder. <laughs> I was going to say, imagine we finish this wall and it starts raining. It doesn't stop. Raining! Fresh. I just really, it's gonna rain, I don't wanna be out here. Oh my god, the drama. Stop! Go cut the next piece! You gotta pickle up your butt. Go get the cocky. The sugar cube pickle butt girl is happy now. <laughs> it's getting stormy. We just smashed that side out of the park. You're corny. We just smashed it out of the park. We did. I know we did. That was, we just crushed that. <laughs> I feel like we have so much. Why are you dancing right now? You've been the. Now she's not dancing. Now she's realizing the storm is really coming. Wanna go for a dinner date? But then I heard Larry Porter's dead. blown engine so 
We got good old Larry back here. I don't mean he's old, I mean like, <laughs> nah, it's a saying, people. Larry Porter's dad is hauling us Phil whenever he can because he is a busy human. Oh, I've been working nine to five just to survive and I won't keep Did I ever miss the sound of a dump truck? It's been so long. Phil, That's Phil. nice, Phil, yeah. That's a lot of rocks in us. That'll be good for the yard, huh? Have a, good <laughs> Have a good weekend, thank you. With our tractor Clementine back up and running and so many unfinished jobs because of the breakdown, we couldn't help ourselves. What a feeling to be able to repair our own machine. We spread the fill, covered the trench, and even got some stone done. We are so happy. Okay, hopefully I can beat the rain. I need to eat, go on our little Dinner date. Apparently it doesn't want to rain anymore. Chicken and french fries. We also just had a great idea. I can't believe how silly we were. I'll tell you in one moment. Just gonna eat my food. Oh, there's a hair. Aw, oh, man. I just washed these shorts. We have a covered porch and we're gonna do it just in case it rains on us. The siding didn't even meet. That's probably why there was something living in our wall right here. All those critters could get in easily. When we say abandoned cabin, this is what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Time to change that. I told Crystal I would do the prep if she did the painting. And now I'm regretting that hard. I need to go all the way to the top and get those fans out. Basically, I hate heights. I really don't want to go up Don't stop. Oh. Oh. Now I have to go all the way up, figure out what head it is. They use nails! I'm scared. Of course, there's a stripped one. Stop to the spray foam. And maybe the bigger ladder, because I'm scared. Can you give me the big ladder, please? I knew that wasn't the big ladder. This one is. You know how I should have known? There's micro cement all over this ladder. Come on, you sad. My goodness, people. It's so gross up here. It's a nice brush, eh? <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get this off. I just realized that this obviously is basically glue and it's stuck to the roller now. I don't even know if there's a point of me heaving and hoeing. Like this just seems like, oh, no. No. I am the most excited to paint that I have ever been in my life. And guess what? We don't have any more roller holders, if that's what they're called. How do we only have two? Well, maybe because there's only two of us, but come on, ladies, what are we doing? I literally just checked the whole garage and it's organized now, so I know I'm not missing it. I missed it. I found one. I clearly didn't look hard enough. Look at that sunset. It's pretty special when you get sunsets here because there isn't many, because we're so nestled in the trees and there's a hill and everything. So when you get it, you just gotta stop and enjoy it. Hey kids, what you doing with the world these days? Heard you moved out of town, moved out of state, but you're still in the same old place. And I found that picture from New Year's Eve. believe I got it all done. Can you all believe it? I painted. I'm waking up to a dump truck. It's been a while. Morning y'all. 
Looks like I have another load to spread. And guess what? He's coming back with another. Porter, we all miss you. Spam comments! Miss you, Porter! But we love you, Larry. Ben from Complete Siding is here, helping us get this blue skin on. Hello, everyone. I hear I'm on the YouTubes. The Yubtubs. It's great to be here. Don't know what accent I just went in. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden you're British, okay. <laughs> Let's get removing this. Now girls, don't you fall off here. You're about 70 years old. You'll break more than a bone. Coming soon, some new stairs off the Van Life's patio. It sure feels like we are competing with the weather this season. With predicted thunderstorms coming this evening, we put our heads down and got to work. Sealing the front windows, replacing the flashing, parts of the substrate, and sealing the side doors. Just in time. It's still raining. 12 hours later, it hasn't stopped. As you can see, we got most of the work done. We didn't get to blue skinning because it started pouring, but we're here and that is good. And in the meantime, we can't even continue on this side because it's still raining. So we're gonna go over there where it's pretty sheltered. And um, the porch. we'll just bounce back and forth because we're working around the weather, so. All summer, all year now. What can you do? <laughs> when you live in a shoe. It's mother nature's plans. I'm actually very excited to do the front of the house because I feel like it's the part you see every time you drive up to the cabin, look at the cabin. As soon as we get this blue skin on, I have a feeling I'm gonna wanna strap it inside it just to see what it looks like. I was thinking about how much the rain really needs to stop for us to get this project done. And how badly we need to get this project done. Cause we the gotta cock this side I know. still, but we can't because it just keeps raining. Sunshine, please come out. That would be great right about now. Just wanna say you look really cute in that hat. And down your throat looks even cuter. Well, <laughs> ah, no, thanks. Look how cute I you are. I can't wait to see everyone looking cute in them too. I know. Yeah. Not only are we so excited to have merch that we can share with all of you, but it's just such a deeper meaning, you know? It's not just merch, it's something that connects us all, connects community, mm -hmm. and I think that's like why I love it's it. It's so cool to be able to wear something that represents our incredible community. Our pack. I just love it. It's a great feeling. And I can't wait to show all of you the rest of the designs because these hats aren't just all of it. There are so many more items that we can all connect together in. Do you hear that? I'm ready. Look behind you. It's not a van life friend. <laughs> okay, the day has finally come after a long six months. Today is the day. Join us next week for a major surprise and watch the cabin transform. Blown away. It looks way better than I thought it was going to look. It looks amazing. And we experience one of the craziest storms at the cabin yet. Last night was pure chaos. So, so intense. <laughs>